Oh my god, she's still here. I can't look at her. I just, I, I hate looking at this gotcha. I don't have her and it makes me sad. Please, lasango, lasagna. Give it to me. Also, I'm sacrificing Doman for this, so she better show up. When the summer banners came around, I actually got pretty lucky with Okita Soji. And I kind of feared that Kama would just not show up because of that. And guess what? So far, that has been absolutely the case. That being said, I have 120 quarts with her name on all of them. Yes, I wrote each and every one, like all of them. I am so tired, not only from writing all those names, but of just looking at this gotcha screen and wishing she was mine. I didn't end up getting Sei Shonagon or the Rider Canis, but things could change, and of course, more copies of CEs would be cool. But don't prioritize the CEs over comma. Enough chit chat, let's go ahead. And I wish everybody watching good luck. Uh, let's go. I swear, this weather has been more bipolar than Kanye West. So far, all of today has been pretty chilly and foggy, even though yesterday was like a blazing, scorching mess. And this entire week's been like that. I don't know what's going on. I really hope we can just end it with the sun i think there's a few days left until fall begins i'm just i am so ready anything for sweater weather don't give me that actually yeah do give me that nothing like some hot soup on a hot ass day wait i just remembered yeah van Gogh's still set to drop this year and i mean i'm a foreigner collector of course i want her but i think if i had to choose between van Gogh and kama i'd go with kama because i think she's much cooler like much much cooler but yeah i am just hoping that for van Gogh, the luck is better but hey i'm not gonna jinx myself just yet maybe things can start picking up the pace though i'm not sure if van Gogh is right after this event i'd have to look at his schedule but yeah i hope you guys have been fine it's been a week since my last video uni and this weather have not been fun for sure but I do hope that everybody watching that your gotcha like has been at the very least okay You know, maybe a four star here and there like a four star character if it's been dry Then I am so sorry soldier. I know what that feels like. I don't know what's worse. Okay. This is just bad Seriously, what am I supposed to do with this? Like let's back out of this cancer. Okay. No sigh. No canis and no burp. Let's go. Yeah, I don't know what's worse. Being free to play and saving up months of quartz only for you not to get the rate up SSR or spending hundreds if not thousands of dollars to not get the SSR. Is it even possible to spend thousands and not get the SSR? I mean, with pity, now that's a thing I know, but basically what I'm trying to say is spending money and not getting the character you want. I don't know which one is worse. Maybe they might be the same. Let me know in the comments which one you think is worse. I haven't saved in a long time, so I'd have to go with the latter. Dude, just, just don't give me this. Ooh, okay. This is something. Okay. This might be say, if it's a berserker, it's say. Uh, this is Canis. This has to be Canis, right? Come on. There we go. Dude, look at her. She's like freaking hot. Ah, uh, you gotta love Canis. Well, that's something that already makes this video better than the last one. Is that a good thing? Yeah, but no comma. Yeah, I don't know. With hindsight, it does make me regret, like, spinning for the first banner. I mean, NP2 Anastasia was cool and all that. Hell, it probably wasn't even that banner. It might have just been the Scritorio one. Okay, what? Why did that lag for so long? And it turns out to be a four star crap essence? It couldn't have even been a five star. Okay, Azusa seems like they put in extra detail when drawing her chest. She is just so badass. It's not even funny. Yeah, she kind of saved this multi. No, she didn't kind of. She absolutely saved this multi and probably this video. So let's back out of this. Okay, roll numero tres. I have the material ready for her. So let's go ahead and let's see what happens in this multi. Okay, so funny little story. I've been preparing to go to Horror Nights, which if you... If there's like no Universal Studios uh, where you live. It's like an amusement park. And around the time for Halloween, they do like uh, like mazes where they scare you and stuff. And for me and my friends, ever since around 2019, it's pretty much been a tradition where we go every year. And it's the same group of friends. We were pretty much setting up a date. So one of them particularly ends up getting their ticket. And we it all seems like it's okay until an hour later when they text in the group chat saying, yo, I bought the wrong ticket. What I mean by that, oh my God, oh my God. Oh my god, yes! Yes! Oh, freak. That is ice cream, right? That has to be ice cream. Oh, that was so cool, dude. Uh, I wanted to talk about Horror Nights. Yeah, okay. So the two main Universal Studios are the one in Orlando, Florida, and in Hollywood. So instead of buying the ticket for Hollywood, my friend ended up getting a ticket for Orlando. And by the way, the day we chose was like $92, I think, plus tax. He took the L. 
and he just bought another one because you can't refund the tickets after you purchase them online. Even at the park, I don't think you could just refund it like that. It was so funny, but I totally understand because whenever you search up horror nights, even when I live here in California, I still get Orlando. It's like, don't do that. Don't give me that. I don't know if that's ever happened to you guys. What are the chances of that happening? I don't know. I think it depends on the event, but it's so funny. <laughs> uh, this is it? Okay. <laughs> I was gonna say this is the role of the summer, but Artoria is just a better role, I guess. Oh my god, it happened. Yeah, I gotta get her through third ascension fast. Ladies, gentlemen, I did it. I won. I'm gonna keep spending this last one on this banner. I could roll for a dome in just one shot, but I do want to say, uh, maybe I can get more copies of the five-star craft since regardless. Let's do this. No, seriously, it feels so awkward rolling for summer servants, even though it's about to be fall. I wish this event would have come out, like, a little sooner, maybe around July, but what are you gonna do about it? I feel so relieved now. Oh my god, I am so happy I didn't have to squeeze in another video for that. It wasn't another Koyan Sky situation. Now, Koyan Sky did leave me a little upset. Is anybody here gonna be rolling for Van Gogh? Are you guys gonna skip Van Gogh? The year's almost over and I know incoming servants are pretty freaking badass. Now, I think I might be wrong, but is Arcuid gonna be the next anniversary servant? I think so. I don't know. Every year this game like squeezes more money out of me. It's not even funny. Oh, 100 personas. Hello. Dude, it's so hot in my room. I can't even. These headphones don't make it any better. Now, if the last multi didn't happen, I'd be upset about this, but I'm okay. What an insane way to end off summer this year. Thank you everybody for watching. Did you guys get lucky in the end or are you gonna skip this fan completely? Let me know in the comments below. Reminder that I have a Star Rail channel, which is gonna be linked in the description below. And I uploaded a video, which you might wanna check out up here. It took me a while and I'm very proud of it. And yeah, once again, thank you so much for watching my video, ladies and gentlemen. If you enjoyed this video, you're gonna enjoy the rest of the channel. And by the way, here are two videos you can check out. Yeah, good vibes all around. Um, yeah once again thank you so much for watching stay wonderful i love you stay cool and peace out bye